Let's take a look at what's happening weather-wise. It doesn't feel much like July still, even though we're just a couple days past Independence Day. The cool weather pattern continues. It's been a parade of these little ripples, which are signified by the L, standing for low pressure on the map. They're just parading through the upper levels of the atmosphere. This is going to continue for the next several days, all the way through the weekend. Now, while that means cooler than average temperatures, it's pleasantly below normal farther inland. It means the fog isn't really going to go anywhere around the bay and along the coast also means their air quality is going to remain in the good category all the way through the weekend and into early next week. Eventually, as the hot weather returns, that's more of a weather pattern that tends to trap urban pollution. So we'll see some yellow dots beginning to show up on the air quality forecast probably later next week as temperatures start to warm up and they are going to do so. The long range forecast, you'll see the seven day outlook in a moment, but looking even beyond that shows a good chance of above normal temperatures for the Bay Area and much of the western US as we get just past the midpoint of July and the eight to 14 day outlook shows a similarly strong signal towards above average temperatures once we get about two thirds of the way through this month. So this is temporary. A lot of cloud cover out there right now as we look towards the Golden Gate. It's in there. You can just see the bottom of the towers. Temperatures right now in the low 60s in San Francisco and Oakland. Only low to mid 70s inland. Those numbers inland especially are way below what's normal for this time of year. Not likely to change a whole lot, though, as we head through the rest of the week and into the weekend. The fog really spreading out. Once again, gray skies for most of the Bay Area to start the day on Friday. But once again, those inland valleys get rid of the fog pretty quickly. It'll take longer around the Bay and along the coast. I don't think we're going to see an exact repeat of today with the gray skies giving way to sunshine for really just about a little over an hour in San Francisco. Now along the coast, you're more likely to see a repeat of the gray skies that you've had for the past few days. That's going to be the case all the way through Sunday. Temperatures tonight underneath that blanket of clouds only dropping down to the low to mid 50s. Hour by hour temperatures tomorrow returning to the low 60s in San Francisco, maybe a degree warmer than today, but it is going to be noticeably breezy in the afternoon and evening hours, especially closer to the coast and around the bay. The wind will be noticeable, but not as strong farther inland. Santa Rosa more likely to climb up into the upper 70s tomorrow. Other parts of the North Bay, maybe in the mid 70s. It's still below normal, but comfortable. Concord reaches up into the mid 70s. Some of that morning fog quickly giving way to plenty of sunshine, but those temperatures are a good dozen degrees below normal. And about eight degrees below normal for San Jose, reaching up into the low 70s in the afternoon. Let's fill in the rest of the map. Near 60 along the coast, mostly 60s around the bay, around 70 down the peninsula. Most inland temperatures, once again, in the 70s, just the very warmest spots reaching up to around 80 degrees. So it is going to be cool. 71 degrees in Pleasanton tomorrow. This is the last weekend of the Alameda County Fair. And two of the three weekends, unusually cool. And of course, right in between, we had that extreme heat for Fourth of July weekend. So 72 degrees for a high temperature in Pleasanton, both Saturday and Sunday. That'll be close to the high temperature in San Francisco by Wednesday and Thursday, and that represents a warm up. We're going to see temperatures in Oakland back up to around 80 degrees a week from today. The heat will be more noticeable farther inland. Temperatures for inland parts of the North Bay and the Santa Clara Valley increasing sharply from Monday to Tuesday, and then the heat kind of settles in by Wednesday and Thursday especially inland in the East Bay. No surprise there up into the mid 90s on a widespread basis with mid 60s along the coast. So I think by this point next week, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, maybe a few hundreds. <laughs> you got everything, right? All the Skittles and, colors and, on the temperature map. And 64, map. 65 on the coast, that's a heat wave. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. nice and warm. And you see some sunshine for a change. All right.